good day, all depending to where you are. This is a video on how to manage alerts in Unified Manager. What we have in front of us is a Unified Manager instance. In this situation, it's a Unified Manager 914 RC1. And what we need to do here is then to set up the alertings uh, in Unified Manager. So we go into Unified Manager, going into Storage Management and Alert Setup. As we can see, there are no alert specifications set. This is due to the fact by default, Unified Manager does not alert on anything. So you need to set up, set up alerting, and by so you need to go into Settings, Storage Management, Alert Setup. What you can then do is to go into Add, and what we're going to do here, as in an example, we're going to go for Volume Full. What we can then do is to select a resource that we actually want to create a alert on. So in this situation, it's volume. And what we then strongly encourage you is to set a catch all class. So in this situation, it's all volumes. Putting that one to the right, go into events, selecting all the event severities. And what we can then do is to search for full. As we can see here, we have volume space full and nearly full, and those are the things that we then would like to report on. Putting that one to the right, go into Actions, and select the user that you want to specify to receive the alert on. In this situation, it's the admin user that we specify. Another option that we have is as an FP alerting, which I'll show you later on more information about. So we got save. As we see, we now have a alert created, which is vol full on all volumes, where we are going to notify you by email towards the recipient of test at neta.com on the events of volume space full or nearly full. So what we can do here is to enable and disable a alert. As you can see, we have a separate tick box on top where you can enable or disable the alert. This means that you will not get notified on a alert. That being said, you can use this, for instance, in a um, situation where you are scheduling maintenance or where you are expecting a alert to be there, but you don't want to be alerted. Something that we have is a maintenance mode. So going back in here, what we have is the enable and disable. And by so we can also test the alert. By so clicking the test, we'll send an email towards the uh, actual email address listed. The options that we have as well is exclusions in to a alert. So going into the alert, going to exclude, and there you can add a certain name that you would like to exclude. So let's say we have a volume which is test, and now Every volume that contains the name of test will be excluded from this particular alert. As mentioned earlier, we have the option to send out SNP uh, events. That being stated, Unified Manager is only sending SNP events and is not able to receive SNP events from any other third party. So we're going to go into general, then going into notifications, and there we have the options to specify a uh, SNP trap host. We are supporting these particular versions, and by so you can set a, a trap destination with the required values. So what we can now do, going back into the alert and to edit it, and we go into the action field. We can then also select issue as an IP trap. This will then forward the actual event to your as an IP receiver, and by so you can also have monitoring there. Another option is to have scripts to be executed. For this, you need to go into storage management and then scripts, and you can add your own scripts towards things. So if then a certain event occurs, a script will run automatically towards your event. This concludes the end of this uh, KB article by video.
Thank you for watching. Have a great day.